Hey guys, welcome back, Orbom here, bringing you another video. It has been a bit. Hurricane Harvey has done his thing, but there's finally the sun out for the first time in a long time. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded in a bit, once again, Hurricane Harvey made it hard. I did stream almost every day though, luckily I never lost my power. I didn't record because the rain has been pretty intense, so it's kind of hard to record with all that background noise. This is really hard for me to edit it out. But we're here today, and uh, I'm going to talk about, I'm just going to talk about a bunch of cards. This ladder is going to reset, or not reset, but we're going to get post-rotation here in two days, I believe, from this recording. So you'll see a lot more videos, like TCGO videos, soon. And if you have a craving for TCGO, we do. We have been working on a bunch of decks on stream. So go ahead and watch the stream videos. They're a lot of fun to watch. But uh, we're going to go over a bunch of cards that I haven't talked about yet that I feel like are worthy at least talking about. But first things first, I want to show off some things. Like we got the full art Guzzlord over here revealed to us. Uh, it's really cool. It's got a red outline. These are the red GXs. Um, I'm assuming it says Ultra Beast right here. The uh, There's text in the bottom that's red. Uh, yeah. I, I think it looks really nice. And we also have the Full Art Sil Valley. We're going to talk about Sil Valley because I actually haven't talked about it yet. And I actually haven't had a chance to take a really good look at it. So this is Sil Valley. I love the way it looks. The normal Full Art GXs are like actually super duper dope. But we're going to go ahead and talk about Sil Valley here first. Uh, Sil Valley is a stage one Pokemon. I believe we had Type Null revealed already. So I'm going to look at Type Null in a second as well. Um, but... It has an ability and two attacks. Its ability is gyro unit. As long as this Pokemon is in play, all of your basic Pokemon have zero retreat cost. Okay, that's not too bad. Turbo Drive does 120 damage. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So for three energies, you can do 150 damage with Choice Band, 170 damage with Kakui, and you can accelerate energy as well. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, you can knock out Lele's, but you can't Guzma and Kakui in the same turn. You know, it's so Valley, right? Maybe we'll get a held item that lets it change its typing. And then if this thing, if like, if for instance, if we had a held item that would let this thing change its typing and, uh, and uh, we could hit everything for weakness, 240 damage, that's a big attack. So I'm gonna wait on this one. I don't think it's very. I don't think that attack is very good right now. Cause three energies to accelerate. Three energies to accelerate energies. I know that you can attach a DC and all, but I'm not. I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling it. It's a little bit too heavy an attack cost, and it's up stage one. It's not even a basic. So I'm not really feeling this card right now. I mean, its ability is really nice. There's no more hex maniac, so you can actually abuse the ability as much as you want. So that's pretty nice. Uh, its GX attack is rebellion. GX 50 damage attack to 50 damage times the number of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So it's Lycanroc. Lycanroc GX's ability, Rebellion GX, I right, dope. Um, it's a good a GX attack. Usually, it, it, it makes them play careful. Like, they can't play down Lele's and stuff like that recklessly. So, I like the GX attack a lot. But that first attack is, uh, you know, and, like, the abilities. Like, b the ability doesn't matter to me as much because we have Guzman and Floatstone, right? And Acerola. We have lots of ways to get Pokemon out of the active. So, I don't feel like the ability is good enough in our current meta. To worth playing Sil Valley right now. Now, if Sil Valley gets an item card like its multi type ability, let this just change its typing, this card's gonna be absolutely busted. Because if I can change my typing to like, oh, I can play this one of, I can play this one of maybe two of card, and uh, three energies, not a bad attack cost, 210 HP is a pretty large amount of HP. I'll play this in, say, my Ninetales deck, right? Um, it's a little bit, it's, it's clunky, but just stick, stick with me for a second, right? I have a really bad matchup to Gardevoir in that deck. So I could have Sil Valley, and I could have the Steel Memory. I believe that's what they're called. They're called Memories. I could have the Steel Memory tool card, attach it to Sil Valley, and make it hit Gardevoir for weakness, and then I can Oko Gardevoir, and that's really nice. Just an example. I hope that's a thing they print, because that'd be actually really dope. But at the same time, I don't know, it seems a little bit too powerful. Being able to change it to any typing you want, that's really strong. I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Now, let's talk about Gladion and Type Null. So Type Null is here. It's the basic. If this is good, it might be worth playing Sil Valley. Uh, I like I like Type Null as a Pokemon. It's pretty dope. All right, so 110 HP, basic Pokemon. That's actually really nice. That's really, really nice. For a non-GX, EX is really cool. Armor press 30 damage your opponent's, uh, during your opponent's next turn, this attack... This Pokemon does 30 less damage from attacks. 
This Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. I'm sorry, apparently I cannot read. Uh, that's whatever. DCE, you can do 30. It's not very good. I mean, it's decent. I get 60 with Choice Band and you take 30 less damage. Yeah. And then Claw Slash, 70 damage. Okay, never mind. It's not a good card. <clears throat> it is, uh... It's, it's, uh, it's whatever. It's not a big deal. Alright, so let's look at Gladion. Gladion, I love the way it looks. Look at this card. Oh my god. That is me. Actually, that's not me. I'm not that edgy. Why is his hand so big? His hand is like... Look at his hand compared to his face. Holy Christ thing. That is like, that is an adult hand. That is a musk. <laughs> this man is freaking out. All right, so Edgelord Supreme over here. Look at your face down prize cards. Choose one of them and switch it with this Gladion. Put that card you chose in your hand, then shuffle Gladion and the prize cards you looked at and return them face down as prize cards. So you can choose a prize card. Put it into your hand and then replace it with the Gladion, then shuffle your prizes so you don't know where your prizes are again. <clears throat> That's your supporter. I've been thinking a lot about this card and I've ultimately decided that I don't like this card. I think it's cool that you can take whatever card you want from the prizes and there's a lot of instances where you're just like, oh man, if only that card wasn't prized, uh, I could do this and this and this and that. But I mean, in this new meta where you're not playing as many techs as you used to be, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, town map is still in the format and town map is just better. I know your opponent can look at your prizes when you use town map, but you can choose what prizes you take when you get knockouts. And usually when things are prized, people just work on getting knockouts on smaller Pokemon until they get it off the prizes. Uh, and most of the time you're playing multiple copies of important cards in your deck. So very, very unlikely are you to, uh, prize like four DCEs in one game or something like that. So I think... I'd rather play, and it's your supporter for the turn, right? Uh, when I've been testing a lot, I either want to, wanted to play a uh, Guzma or a draw supporter almost every turn while playing a Pokemon match lately, as of late, at least in this new format. So I don't know how I feel about Gladion. I don't think I like it. I don't think it's very good. I'm going to test it. I'm going to test it maybe in decks that require DCE or... I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think, by the way, down below. Of course, I'm just thinking out loud here and uh reviewing the cards based on what i say so if, of course if you guys disagree with me let me let's talk in the comments down below let's talk about some other cards too we have a lot to talk about today we have lucamine here now this one's really cool right first of all i cannot wait for this beauty to have a full art oh my i am excited uh put two combinations of stadium and supporter cards from your discard pile into your hand that's a pretty dope card i like it a lot in expanded to get your stadiums back because a lot of decks are stadium reliant such as skyfield decks and verbank decks so Having Lucimine and Expanded is going to be really dope. Um, in Standard, there's not too many important stadiums as of right now, but I'm hoping that, that we get some really, really cool, powerful stadiums in this set because Lucimine was printed. And putting supporters back into your just into your hand is really cool in Standard right now. Without VS Seeker, I think it's pretty dope. I mean, if those of you that want to see VS Seeker being reprinted, this Lucimine card pretty much kills any hopes and dreams of that. Pretty like That's all I can say. Um, I know that in the Standard format, Right now, I've been having issues, like, like sometimes you have to play fast, right? I've been playing a lot of Ninetales lately, just testing it on stream for the past couple of days. And I know that sometimes I have to sick more and sick more and sick more so I can get my game going. And because of that, I'm losing some important supporters like my ends, like my Sycamores, and like my Guzmas. So having the Zeusamine on a turn where you're really, really good and comfortable to keep playing the game, to uh, put those supporters back into your hand, that way even if your opponent does end you, they're back into your deck. That's pretty decent. So maybe I'll try out Lusamine as a one of. I don't think I'd play it as a two of. I think it'd be like, like one of those one of cards. And if you lose it in the beginning of the game, better that you're losing a Lusamine than you are losing a Guzma or something like that. So I think I like Lusamine because like th like it's one of those cards where like even if you do like like I said like if you play Sycamore and stuff like that, even if you do open up with Lusamine and you can't. And like and Sycamore and stuff like that. If you lose Lusamine, you were probably gonna use Lusamine to get supporters back into your hand anyways. So it's better that you lose the Lusamine supporter than a different supporter that matters, like Guzma. Lusamine is kind of like a late game, oh I need these supporters back. But if you lose an early game, it doesn't really hurt you. So that's why I like Lusamine a lot. Not to mention, you know, getting stadiums back is not bad. There's Brooklet Hill, there's um Parallel City, there's there's still a couple of stadiums that are worth playing in standard so i'm actually a huge fan of this lucimine card i cannot wait to see the full art and get myself two of those um 
But now for the cards I'm really, really hyped about. All right, so we got Kartana GX here. Oh boy, I cannot wait for this card. This is another Ultra Beast. If you guys saw my Ultra Beast video, you guys saw how much I love these Ultra Beast cards. And Kartana is probably my favorite one right now. One of the greatest tech Pokemon to be revealed in a long time. 170 HP Metal Pokemon. Metal Pokemon, if you guys don't know, Metal is like up there is one of my favorite types of cards. So it's nice to see more Metal cards. I believe it's a wonderful card in any deck that plays Rainbow Energy, especially right now <clears throat> when Gardevoir is just dominating the format. If you have Rainbow Energy, if you have DC like Garbodor decks or Drampa decks or uh, what else plays Rainbow? That's the only ones I can think of what's on my hand. I guess Zorak decks sometimes play Rainbow um, and DCs and stuff like that. Zorak Drampa, uh, or if you just play Metal like Metagross, this is a cool card. So its first ability is when you play this Pokemon from your hand to your bench, you may discard a special energy attached to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Beautiful, beautiful, wonderful, wonderful. Cut down, awesome. Hey, get rid of that DC. Hey, get rid of that Rainbow. Hey, get rid of all that gar garbage. Love it. Love this ability. Um, I know it's like it's not like an E Hammer or anything like that. Like at least E Hammer. You don't have to put on your bench so you don't have to take up bench space, but it's still a cool ability. Just a nice tech um, and a lot of matchups, so I like it a lot. Gale Sword, 70 damage. You may shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it to your deck. Now, at first, I was like, eh, I don't know how I like that attack. I think it's cool and standard where you can Metal Links and then, like, pretty much treat it like Excel Gore, but you're not poisoning and paralyzing or whatever. But I saw that it said May instead of you shuffle this Pokemon. So I got used to used to Excel Gore. It's nice that you don't have to. 70 damage with choice ban means you're doing 100 damage with weakness you're doing 200 damage if you're playing kikui as well which eh, may be in this deck maybe if you're playing kartana in a deck that struggles against gardevoir you do play kikui because then you're hitting 120 and 120 after weakness knocks out gardevoir from full otherwise like if you're playing po town you probably already have gardevoir weakened and then you can get a knockout anyways just choice ban so something to keep in mind um it's really nice in this gardevoir heavy meta um, it also does damage to nine tails, but you know, it's my baby. We don't want that. None of us want that. All right. That's scared. Now I'm scared of this card. I talked about, talked about how it damages nine tails. Now I don't like this card very much, but is GX attack. If you play rainbow energy, play this card. If you play even one metal energy in your deck, play this card. This card is busted blade GX. Take one of your prize cards. That's it. The simplicity and beauty behind that GX attack is absolutely absurd. Who cares about seven prize games when you have this Kartana to just be like, oh, I have one prize left, play GX game. Shake your hand and that's it. That's so busted. You can just get a prize card. <laughs> that's a free prize. That's so dope in so many levels. Even early game, whenever you're like, oh, I need to get the specific prize card. I need a way to get my game going so I need to be able to take one prize this game. Maybe I can get lucky and get the card that I need. Or like, for instance, in one of my games, oh boy, I have five of my eight water energies prized. If only I could get a water energy right now, that'd make my game a lot easier. That has actually happened to me, by the way. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, like having having this Blade GX is actually super duper dope, especially if you combine it with cards like Town Map. Um, that way you know exactly what you're about to take. It's dope, I like it. I'm definitely playing this in my Metagross deck. Who cares about seven prize games now? Because you got Gartana. It's actually really nice. Not to mention its ability to shuffle back into the deck is really dope because um, now, this way you can put energies back into the deck, as well as a damaged Kartana so you don't get knocked out. Why is there a plane? Whatever. Um, there's also some other cards here. I guess Red Ice, we can talk about it. Uh, it's 130 HP, water uh, uh, water type, water and doves DC for its attack. We, we've seen that before. Uh, its ability is if you have a Red Rock in play, you prevent all attack, effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's stage 2 Pokemon. We don't know what Reggie Rock does, but we do have we have seen Reggie Steel. I mean, and then Frost Smash is sending damage. Not a big deal. Interesting card. Uh, you can prevent the effects of all your Stage Two Pokemon. I think that's pretty dope. My computer fan is going crazy, but whatever. We're gonna move on. Uh, this is just Pokey Beach, and then another card I'm really really excited to see: Alolan Executor GX, our very first Eggy GX card. I'm so hyped. I love Alolan Executor. I know my buddy Spister Space Warg. This is one of his favorite Pokemon in 7th Gen, if not his favorite Pokemon in 7th Gen. And it's a Dragon type too, which is fairly interesting. As you can see, there's no multi-type energy attacks. This might just be the future for Dragon type Pokemon. Everybody on Twitter is going, hey, Devil Dragon energy reprint, 
I completely disagree with that idea. I think because they didn't add another type of energy to this dragon type, it's showing the future of dragon type Pokemon are going to probably be singular type energies, or at least we'll see it a lot more often than we've ever seen it before. Um, now the four, like the four energy attack cost is pretty rough. The card itself isn't great by any means, but I just like the card a lot. I can't wait to see the full art. Can you imagine a full art Eggy with like all of this neck space, that neck, that neck? It's weak to Guardian, which sucks, but what can you do? 220 HP stage two Pokemon. Just like Alolan Muck, this is the highest HP stage one Pokemon. I meant stage one, not stage two. Highest HP stage one Pokemon that we have seen tied with Alolan Muck, which is really dope. It's a lot of HP. 210, 220 HP is a lot of HP. We got three interesting attacks. Tropical Head does 20 damage times the number of energy attached to this Pokemon to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So luckily it's only energy. So if you add DCEs and stuff like that, it'll count as well. Grass DC means you hit 60. You can knock out Ralts, Volpixes, stuff on the bench for 60 damage. Uh, it's pretty dope. I like it. Being able to weaken the bench is really good. Dragon Hammer, 120 damage. Defending Pokemon is now confused. That's also good. I think it's I think it's overpriced. I think Dragon Hammer is heavily overpriced for four energies. I know that's two grasses, two DC, uh, one DCE. Eh, that's a little bit hard to pull off. But our Mech Confusion is good. We've seen it on uh, we've seen it on the cards like. Uh, SP on GX. The only issue is with Guardi, I mean, you're going to lose to Guardi anyways because you hit to weakness, but like you can't have too many energies attached to one Pokemon, especially with Lele in the format as well. It's a little bit risky, uh, but it's interesting. 120 damage. Uh, we don't hit anything for weakness because we're a dragon type Pokemon. We don't hit anything for resistance either, which means choice band is 150 damage. I guess could we make it 170? It's still not a great attack. And then Tower go round gx 180 damage move as many energy attached to your pokemon to your other pokemon in any way you like that could be fairly interesting if you like load up on one pokemon maybe you play max elixirs on the bench to attach on a specific pokemon and then after you use tower go round gx you can move your pokemon to any strategic way you need them to be moved around i could see this card getting a little bit of play for tower round gx although i don't see it getting too much play so low on executor now now, this new format's a little bit slower. So for instance, if you were to make this Alolan Eggy GX work with something like, I don't know, the Shining Legends Venusaur, I know that they're both, it's a stage two and a stage one deck, but um, I don't know, experiment. Maybe, maybe you can make a consistent version of the deck. Um, if you guys don't know, the Venusaur and Shining Legends, each basic grass energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon provides two grass energy instead of one. So if you have two grass energy attached to Alolan Eggy, uh, then you ha you have your four energy attachments already, which is severely, which is like so much better and so much more manageable because now your tropical head does 80 damage to the bench for only two energies and uh, dragon hammer and tower go around GX can work as well. Now it's interesting. I don't know how much I like it, but it's an interesting idea because if you have say three energies attached to your, to your alone eggy, three grass energies, or you do play your DCs and stuff like that you are doing 120 damage to the bench, which is absolutely absurdly huge. Doing that much damage to the bench without, I mean, the only Pokemon that can do that much damage to the bench for three energies is Tapu Fini, and Tapu Fini has to discard their energies. If you don't have to discard, you can just consistently do it. That could be pretty dope. Then you can add more and more for every one you do, for every one grass energy you attach, you're adding 40 more damage. So you can hit for 160 or for five energies. For five energies, you're hitting for 200 damage on the bench. That's wild. <laughs> so obviously you can play things like uh, like Alax Lixers and stuff like that. It's not, I don't think it's gonna work, but it's something that I'm definitely gonna try because that seems like a lot of fun. Um, but that's the deck, that's the deck list guys. That's the video guys. <laughs> let me know what you think of all these GX cards. Let me know what you're the most excited about. Let me know, let me know what cards you wanna see in the future. SM4 looks pretty interesting. It's weird though, because what we thought was, we have eight GXs coming in SM4, right? We thought Silvalli GX and the seven Ultra Beast. But it looks like we're probably getting some promos for Ultra Beast that are only going to be promos. Like I know that I've seen Ferramosa and Celestila boxes. Like I got, we saw the announcements for Celestila and, uh, and Ferramosa boxes. So we're probably getting those as promos only and not in a set, which tells, or maybe we're getting them in the next set, but I highly doubt that which tells us that we have room for probably one more GX because we have, we already have, we don't know if Nihiligo, Buswell, and Kartana, and the other one. Nihiligo, Buswell, 
of Guzzlord and Cartana are coming in SM4, but it seems very likely since they did announce them. So those are four in SM4. We got Silk Valley. We have Executor. That means we have two more Pokemon in SM4 we just don't know yet. And they could be anything like Ultra Beast and the Ultra Beast Slayer. You know, that makes sense. But then they throw an Executor. <laughs> you know what? Whatever. Regardless, drop a like if you haven't already. Subscribe, share all that good jazz. Answer all the questions I asked earlier. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.